Hi, my name is Jennifer Schultz. I work for the product definition team here at Dasso Systems SolidWorks Corporation. In this video, I will be talking about the new mesh modeling features supported by SolidWorks 2020. There are three different body types supported in SolidWorks. The first are standard SolidWorks BREP bodies, the second are graphics bodies, and the third are mesh BREP bodies. In this video, I will be using files that were imported as graphics bodies and converted to mesh BREP bodies. Mesh BREP bodies can be a solid or a surface body. The bodies are made up of mesh facets. The facets can be grouped into faces, and the facets can form a geometric shape, such as a rectangle. The rectangle can have a BREP face associated with it. But not every point on every face can be determined with a mathematical equation. Simply, that face is defined as a collection of facets, not as a rectangle with a height and width. This body type is used to perform Boolean operations such as combining and subtracting bodies to create new geometry. The new features supported for mesh BREP bodies that I am introducing in this video are Hole Delete, Face Delete with Delete and Fill, Trim with Mutual Trim, Surface Knit, Fillet and Chamfer, Draft, and Shell. For this example, I will be using an exported mesh file from a 3D scanner. When importing, I go to Options, and I ensure I am importing a graphics body with the specified units as millimeters. Click OK. Now my mesh file is imported as a graphics body. I can right-click on the body and convert to Mesh BREP body. The mesh from the scanner has imperfect geometry. To fill the holes in the mesh, I go to Insert, Surface, Delete Hole. I select the inner edge of the surface body, and a preview of the repair is in yellow. Click OK. The new Mesh BREP support for the Delete Hole feature can be used to fill gaps and holes in meshes to create watertight mesh surfaces or mesh bodies. For this next example, I am using a mesh file from a 3D scanner that was imported as a graphics body, decimated, and then converted into a mesh BREP body. The mesh has imperfect geometry, so to clean up the divots and the faces, I can use the Delete and Fill option for the Delete Face feature. I go to Insert, Face, Delete. Delete Face appears in the Feature Manager tree, and I can zoom in to an affected area with the Delete and Fill and Tangent Fill options on. With the Selection filter for Mesh Facets turned on, I start selecting the facets in the divot I want to clean up. Click OK, and the new geometry has been created. To show Mesh BREP support for Mutual Trim with Surface Trim and Surface Knit, I am creating intersecting surfaces and converting them to Mesh BREP bodies. With my surface extrude created, I go to the Mesh Modeling tab on the Command Manager, select Convert Mesh Body. I set the mesh refinement to the fine side of the scale to ensure the surfaces will knit. To trim the surfaces, I can go to Insert Surface Trim Surface, or I can use the Mesh Modeling tab in the Command Manager. With Mutual selected, I choose the surfaces I will be using to trim. Then I select the faces I want to remove. Click OK. Now the two surfaces have merged into one. I can add a mesh BREP surface to the bottom of the cylinder to turn this mesh into a solid mesh BREP body by knitting the surfaces. To do this, I created a planar surface and then converted it into a mesh BREP body. To knit, I go to Insert, Surfaces, Knit Surfaces, or I can go to the Surfaces tab on the Command Manager. I select two surfaces I want to knit together, select Create Solid and Merge Entities, and click OK. Now I have one solid body. I can use Mutual Trim and Knit Surface to manipulate mesh geometry that are commonly exported from 3D scanners or CAD files. 
For the next few features, I am using a CAD file that was exported as a mesh body, imported as a graphics body, and then converted to mesh B-Rep bodies. To fillet a mesh B-Rep body, I can go to Insert, Features, Fillet, and select the edges on my model that I want to fillet. Click OK. To use the chamfer feature, I can go to Insert, Features, Chamfer, and select the edge on my model that I want to chamfer. Click OK. To use the draft on a mesh B-Rep body, I go to Insert, Features, Draft, select the neutral plane and the face to draft, and I change the draft angle. And finally, to use the shell feature, I go to Insert, Features, Shell, and select the open faces for the shell. Click OK to finish. That is all for the enhancements in this video. If you are interested in learning more, please check out another video for new enhancements supported for graphics bodies in 2020.